With over 25 identity fields and multiple additional attributes such as rules or tokens, it could take a long time to create identities for every individual. Identity profiles are templates with configurable fields of information, which automatically populate when applied to identities. Profiles can be applied to new identities individually or retroactively to a group of existing identities via a batch update process. This lesson demonstrates the steps involved to set up an identity profile in addition to overviewing how to apply the identity profile using the two methods mentioned above. After completing this lesson, you will be able to identify the steps needed to set up and apply an identity profile to a group of identities. To add a new identity profile, begin by clicking here. And then by clicking here. The page loads displaying a table of all identity profiles configured on the system. This column displays the names of each identity profile. Click on the name of an existing identity profile to edit it. This column displays an icon which enables you to perform a batch update on a group of identities. We will discuss this more in detail later in this module. Click this icon in this column to delete a specific identity profile. In this demonstration, we are adding a new identity profile. Click here now. The identity profile page loads. Enter the name for the profile in this field. In this demonstration, we will use this name. Then, enter other details for the profile. For example, you can set the title that will be applied to all identities when this profile is used. In this demonstration, we will set the profile to assign a staff title to all identities to which it is applied. To do so, click on the drop-down menu and select this option. Next, we want to assign an active status to the identity profile. To do so, click the drop-down menu here and select this option. Complete the other fields on this page as necessary. For example, since all monitoring operators are employees of the organization, we completed this field. Since all employees work out of this space, we entered this address and building in these fields. After entering the required information, scroll to the bottom and save the configuration by clicking here. The configuration saves and the roles page automatically loads. The roles page features three methods to assign or remove roles to or from the identity profile. These methods are assign equal, add, and remove. When you use this section, identities that you apply the profile to lose all their previous roles and gain the roles specified in this list. Note that since the replacement of the roles is irreversible, using this method to add or remove roles is not recommended unless absolutely necessary. This section provides more control over which roles are added or removed to the identity profile. For example, the roles added by this section ultimately are included in the identity's existing collection of roles. If you use this section, identities that you apply the profile to lose the roles specified in this list, but they keep their other remaining roles. You would likely use this section if you need to apply this profile to existing identities, so they lose currently specified role. In this demonstration, we will use the Add Remove section to configure this profile's roles. Select the role and click here to add it. Now, whenever this profile is applied to an identity, the identity will gain this role to its existing collection. Note that once you've moved a role from this column to this one, this action will automatically remove the Assign Equal section from use. Similarly, once you have moved a role to this column in the Assign Equal section, it removes the Add Remove sections from View. To view all three methods again, move the roles back to this column. Now, save the configuration by clicking here. Next, the Tokens tab displays. This section allows you to assign token details to the identity profile. This area allows you to determine the status of the token of all identities to which this profile is applied. For this demonstration, we will choose this option. Then, configure the additional required details such as expiration information, door times, or activation deactivation dates. For this demonstration, we want the token to never expire, and we want to activate it as soon as possible. Therefore, we will include today's date in these areas and will leave these areas blank. Once finished, save the configuration by clicking here. After the configuration is saved, the Groups tab loads. We will now take a moment to briefly explain the function of Groups. 
The Groups feature allows you to organize components such as cameras, doors, identities, or roles into groups. Grouping makes it easier to apply profiles or templates to a large collection of identities or doors at a time. For example, this group is comprised of all the doors in the system. If we go back, this group is comprised of all technicians on the system. To create a group, select this button. You can name your group here. For this demonstration, we will create an employee group. To set which members are included in the group, click here. From this drop-down area, you can select the type of group you are creating. In this example, we are creating a group of identities, so we will select this option. Next, you can select from the list of available identities that you want to include in the group here. To do this, press on the identity and then press this button here. Once you've set which identities are to be grouped together, you can save your configuration here. When configuring identity profiles, all the available groups on the system will appear in this section under the Groups tab. Here is the employee group we have just created. Similar to the Roles tab, when you apply a group to an identity profile using this section, the identity will be removed from all the groups they were previously assigned to and added to the groups in this list. When you apply a group to an identity profile using this section, the identity will remain in all the groups they were previously assigned to in addition to being included to the groups in this list. And finally, when you apply a group to an identity profile using this section, the identity will be removed from the group specified in this list. For this demonstration, we will use this section to set this identity profile to this group. Now, whenever this profile is applied to an identity, it adds them to this group in addition to whatever other groups the identity is already a part of. Click here to save the configuration. After an identity profile is created, you can apply it when clicking this button in the Identity Search page to create a new identity. Upon selecting the button, a selection of available identity profiles displays. Select the identity profile that is applicable and click here or simply click here to add the identity without using a profile. The identity profile is automatically applied to the new identity. Only the information specific to the new identity needs to be entered, such as first and last name. In addition to applying identity profiles to new identities, you can also apply them retroactively to existing groups of identities. You can do this through the Identity Profiles page. For example, let's say you would like to apply the employee profile to all the new interns that were recently hired. You would start by clicking this icon, which performs a batch update on a specific group of identities. When the dialog box loads, select a group that you wish to apply the profile to. Then, click here. This feature is ideal for making changes to groups of identities in a single operation, such as extending their deactivation dates or adding and removing roles from the profiles. Now the identities in the intern group will now be updated with all the information that was in the new hire profile. To sum up, you can create identity profiles to speed up the process of creating new identities or to change groups of identities retroactively through a batch job process. When creating an identity profile, you can configure basic information such as position, building, and address information. You can also configure the roles and token information that will be applied to identities.